I'm uh, Sarah and this is Sarah's Creative Solutions and this is the final part six of the hot air balloon sculpture template assembly instructions. So uh, yesterday we left off with the balloon the other way up and now I've turned it over and now it's on its funnel at the bottom and I've smoothed off the top a little bit so that it's not as rounded or flat should I say and we wanted it more sort of rounded off so I've done that and then obviously we've got the basket there oops smooth out the balloon a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and do that so I've used my serrated kidney just to sort of smooth out the surface a little bit so I'm just going to spray this now I'm going to move the camera up and out of the way so you can watch what I'm doing from a distance. Like so. There we are. I'm just going to move the basket out of the way. Move the balloon into the middle so it doesn't topple over. And I'm not going to press too hard because the clay is still a little bit soft, but I'm just going to smooth out what... In fact, I think I'm going to use a sponge, if I can find a sponge, to do this bit. Yeah, I'm just going to grab my sponge from the other room. There we are. And then once you're happy with the texture, then we can start adding those loops. And now I'm swapping over to my kidney. It's just a rubber kidney. Thank <laughs> you. 
There they are. Pretty happy with that. Okay. As it is, one solid form. Don't carve into it at all, fire it, and then when you come to do your glazes, that's when you can put all the uh, pattern and design on. But obviously, um, you could also carve into it, which is what I'm planning to do, because this one is actually going to be a light shade. So I've got the um, attachment here, and the balloon's going to go in between here, and the light bulb will be inside. So I've got to make it so I can get to the light bulb. Um, but just for a bog standard hot air balloon that you can use as a tea light holder or bird feeder or just for decoration really as a hot air balloon then this is all you need to do. But the basic design is there if you want to make it into something a bit more substantial like I'm going to do. There we are, so I'm happy with that now. So I'm just going to move the camera down and out a little bit so you can see. And now we're going to apply these. You could poke a hole in if you wanted to and then you could attach your string or ribbon through that hole. But I'm going to do it this way so it's easy and you don't have to fiddle with it. So I've got these loops that we cut out on the first video. So I'm going to attach those, but before I do that, I've got to mark out where they've got to go. So I'm just going to move the balloon over slightly. And I need to have a tool handy. So I'm going to use my needle tool so it doesn't make as much damage. And then what I'm going to do is... Um, what am I going to do? I am going to use something just to raise this up slightly on the inside there without damaging the... Uh -huh, I'm going to use these. So you could just use a bit of paper or a card or whatever you've got that's smaller than the actual basket. So I'm just going to pop those in there. Oops. Like so, make sure they're nice and level. And let's just see if that's enough. Should be. Maybe not. One more. Another one. I'm going to use my needle tool and I'm going to use my needle tool to sit down to do this so I can see and we do that to mark out where these touch so we're going to have one there one there yeah, I've that one. one there and one there. Okay. Move this out of the way. Like so. So can you see that still? Yeah. So basically what I'm going to do now is score and slip these on. And then that is pretty much the balloon finished in its structure. Then after that, you would have to then decorate it as you see fit. So you could either put pattern on 
or like I say you could leave it until the glazing point to do the actual decoration you could use underglaze pencils and draw on all the lines and the patterns that you want to put in or you could carve into it like I'm going to but I'm going to omit those from the video because um, the whole idea of these templates is that you build and design something of your own so you can use the uh, pattern to actually make the sculpture but then you can put your own personal stamp on it what you would like I will be posting pictures of what I do on my page and things so you can um, copy that if you wish it's up to you but I prefer it if you did try and use your own imagination to come up with um, your own sort of little style if that makes sense so I'm just tidying up these loops a little bit making sure they're nice and neat like so we might tidy that one up a little bit more just take that off there I think that's it so it's level I'm going to pinch the end of it so it's more flat if you can see that okay and then I'm going to use my serrated edge and just score on the edge there and um, use the thick slip that I made earlier to attach So that's where the marks are. You can see where they actually touched. So I'm going to put each one just a little bit higher and smooth out that bit underneath. It's so hard to do once I've put this on. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go there, I think. Put some slip on there. Slip on the ring, turn it over, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Like so, make sure it's level. Make sure it's level. Like so. blend it take off any excess from underneath there so that the hole isn't obscured use a wet brush to go behind and inside just make sure that slips clear Like so. Like so. So that's really good. So I'm going to pop that down because no one will make it. And then I'm going to prepare the next one. So the next one's there. Going to tidy it up a little bit. Make sure it's nice and neat. I'm just going to pinch the end like we did the other one. Like so. 
we want it to kind of curve out that way so that the loop is coming out more so and then we we'll score in the back as we did before like so now what I want to do is try it against here again so this is going to go like that but further up obviously and that rope needs to be so that it's between the basket and the loop so I'm going to move it to there like so so we put that first one in now I'm going to put a hole in between each one so there and there if that makes sense so we've got a mark either side of that now so as before I'm going to follow that line Put my next one there. It is a little bit figgly, this so backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards until it doesn't move, like so. Curl them out slightly and then blend in. Like so, make sure the hole's clear. I need to push it down a little bit. There we are. So that's that one and pop that one down tidy the next one pinch it Or the behind like so move on to the next one we marked it didn't we so we're fine so go from the top of that and then just score Same for that. Make sure the hole's there. Make sure it's level. Like so. As you can see now, it's starting to take effect. So you've just got to continue that all the way around. You've just got to continue applying these. And then once you've done that, it will enable the ribbon to go 
from the basket, loop, through the ring, loop, and then split off and back through the balloon and tie. And then that way you have got the ring between the basket and the balloon. The balloon comes above and the rope will come at an angle to the loop and then to the balloon, if that makes sense. So I'm going to leave that video there now. So that is the balloon assembled, basket assembled, how to do the rings and the loops. If you don't want to make this into a light shade, you wouldn't cut a hole in the top and feed the wire through and put the light bulb at the bottom there. You would just put another loop there or you could poke two holes through, thread your wire through and hang that in a tree or from a ceiling or anything like that. You could use fishing wire, which is really, really strong. That would hold the weight of the ceramics on the ceiling and then you would just apply a screw hook to your ceiling and you can hang it up. Or if alternatively, if you don't want that as an ornament, you could have two blocks of sausage of clay coming up here, uh, a little sort of ring and sit the balloon in that. And then it would be self-sufficient, self-supporting. If you don't feel you have the confidence to use clay, you can use orange wood sticks, which I've got here. And all you would do is make sure Sorry, I lost connection there. You'd fire it without the orange wood sticks, but you'd make sure that there was a supportive bracket made out of clay for the orange wood sticks on each corner, like so. And then when it came to um, the firing finish, you could then just slot the balloon onto the orange wood sticks, if that makes sense. All right then, guys, if you've got any questions, don't um, hesitate to contact me. My... Um, Contact details will be in the description of this video below, including the links to all my uh, Instagram, Facebook and Etsy shop. All right then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.